He was one of two teenagers shot the night of the tree lighting in downtown Detroit. Tonight, he's out of the hospital but still facing a long road to recovery. Ten days have passed since the 15-year-old was shot just blocks from Campus Martius. With no arrests in the case, his family is coming forward calling for justice. Victor Williams tonight live at Children's Hospital. The teen just released a few hours ago, and you were there, Victor. Yes, that's right. This was quite the emotional reunion, but we saw that teen wheeled out of Children's Hospital right into the care of loved ones, many of them still asking a lot of answers. It's a blessing that he's still here with us today. Because like I say, the shoot could have been very well turned on the other foot. Community activist Oliver Gann is happy to be walking out of the hospital with his 15-year-old nephew, one of the teens shot after Detroit's busy tree lighting ceremony. He got shot in the neck, so he still has fragments between his fourth and fifth vertebrae in his back. One bullet was only three and a half centimeters from hitting a main artery. I don't want to see it happen to anybody else. No one wants to see this happen to anybody else, especially downtown where families are enjoying themselves at an event. Apparently, it started with an altercation that led to shots being fired. Family members wanted to be known that the teenage victims were just that, victims of gang violence. They were a gang, but not my son and his little friends. They were really good uh, school kids, you know, go to school, they play basketball, they do what teens supposed to do. There were a group of men that had been seen walking around downtown, and um, one of them had ended up accosting one of his friends. And when my nephew and them turned around to see what was going on with their friend, that's when the shots rang out. His father, who did not want to go on camera, questions why police weren't able to prevent the shooting and why the accused shooters still have yet to be caught. I'm wondering where were all the cops at? And I know it was busy down there that day, but these guys were all over the Internet uh, saying that they were going to do this. Just to put faces up and say we have people of interest, that's not enough when it happened in downtown Detroit of all places. Either way, Gant's nonprofit organization Thousand Strong is adding to Crime Stoppers as reward in hopes of finding justice. Whatever Crime Stoppers is putting up, Thousand Strong, we're going to match it. They just hoping for some justice that these guys are caught and taken off the street and things of that nature. Now, the other team that was shot is expected to be okay. DPD, in the meantime, is saying that this is an open investigation that they are taking very seriously as far as anyone who was out there during that tree lighting ceremony. You guys are asked to contact Crime Stoppers and leave an anonymous tip at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Victor Williams, Local 4. Let's hope someone does exactly that. All right, Victor.